Yeah, hello everybody and welcome back. So we will be continuing with our previous uh, class and today we will go and see how to use the index uh, in Microsoft Dynamic X. So the index will help you to create a unique, uh, uh, like a Unix uh, record. Like if you want to set, uh, let's say you have a item and one item, item A. So you don't want to create a similar item like item A again. So you don't want to allow a duplicate entry in a in a table. So you must use the indexing. So indexing also help you to uh, uh, index it and for uh, like search query or uh, whenever you are doing some uh, query on that table, it will help you to uh, paste the record uh, more accurately and. Uh, will also help you to get more uh, faster record more faster so as it's already the record is already indexed so let's just go and create a index a new index okay so here is the option when you create a new index you can see allow duplicate so if you say it's yes that means you are allowing a du duplicate entry since this is our product table and we want to have only one product uh, so that we don't want to allow duplicate so let's just say it to no, we don't want to allow duplicate. So that's it for this one. And let's create a new field for indexing. So for which uh, you want to do indexing, so item ID. So I want to set it that item ID. So on the item ID, I set the indexing, which means that item ID will not be allowed as a duplicate. So what we set here is duplicate, no. Let's just save this one. And uh, Restore back since this is a table we have to synchronize it. Now we have a great index. Is there each uh, duplicate entry was found in our product? So let's just open it first. Let's see where we have our duplicate. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. I just let's just uh, open it. Sorry, I did not notice here is a duplicate key. Uh, A123 and A123 is a duplicate entry for us. So we don't want to have a duplicate entry. So let's delete our first duplicate entry with this second big banana and uh, delete this report. Okay, so now let's just type on us back our table. Okay, it's working properly. So let's open it and let's add a new record and let's say uh, my barcode. The price is let me say give it ten and it's rated ten times ten and let's just copy this get over here and item this I create a let's create the same item like a B one two three right and I can name it make okay, let's say wrong and product is one stop okay so let's uh, if you try to save this one uh, it will show you that the record already exists so, which means that our uh, index and what we set in index is uh, allow no duplicate entry, right? No, allow duplicate entry to no. So, which means our uh, uh, our index is working correctly. So, the, uh, this is how we can set a duplicate entry, and also we can uh, look up to the uh, X plus plus code. But for now, we are uh, using an indexing to set our allow uh, duplicates to know 
uh, which means we have only a unique uh, product ID. So thank you guys and thanks for watching.